Hello, my beautiful Virgos. Welcome to Real Tarot with Renee. I hope you guys are doing all amazing. All right. Um, thank you guys so much for tuning into the channel. Um, for all your likes, your shares, your subscribes, I truly appreciate them all. Okay, so if you're a cross watching for Virgo, um, this Virgo is a placement in your chart. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node. All right, so let's get into it, my beautiful Virgos. What is the messages from Spirit with the Excited Oracle beyond the White Light of Tarot, the Oracle, and the Intuition Card Spirit? Give me honest messages for Virgos. High is good. Guys, make sure to hit the like, and share, subscribe button as you guys come in to watch this video as it helps generate um, and donate to the channel. Truly free for you. We got the nine here all the way down to a three. Go for what you want. You could attract anything, okay, if you just believed. 25, that's seven. Lucky number seven. You are royalty. Carry yourself as such, sir or ma'am, okay? Yes, you are royalty. You could have anything that you attract, okay? You really, you, you could attract anything that you want. That's just that. Eight, let's go down to a nine, back to a three. Someone is yearning for you so badly right now, okay? Oh, this is that hair. What is that on me? My long strands of hair. All right, let's see here. Okay. And Spirit is saying 20, that's 10 to a 5. Keep your thoughts positive and surround yourself with positive people. That's so important. I can't stress this enough, blood buds. Look at 10 coming here, breast down to another five. You are a teacher, motivator, and scholar. And you were put here to spread knowledge, okay, for whatever it is that you do. All right, Virgo, okay? Most Virgos are very smart, very witty, um, very charismatic as well, okay? I feel that in your energy. Give me one more for Virgo, thank you. Uh, got 14 here, all the way down to another seven. Lucky number seven, set clear intentions on what you really want from the universe, okay? So you need to take the time to really manifest what it is that you want. And you need to ask the uh, universe for it. You know, talk to your spirit guides, you guys. They are here to help you. I'm going to push these up and refer to them later, Virgo. Let's get into it. Ain't nothing to it, but did you want me to start with this deck today? Well, no. This is not like we're wearing those decks out. I just want to see that. Let's use the Light Seers deck. Do the Light Seers deck here for a minute. Thank you guys. I truly appreciate all of your patience. Virgo, what's going on? What's going on, Virgo? What's going on in your energy? Oh, I see the Knight of Swords here on the bottom of the deck. And the two of swords. Mm. Somebody could have did something and possibly that caused the extremely painful ending with you. Virgo. Someone raising Venus Mocha. And Messenger Spirit. Thank you. Queen of Pentacles to the Ace of Wands. Okay. Some of you guys, I don't know. You could be possibly having a new beginning. You could be a boss CEO or something like that. Queen of Pentacles, you're about to have a passionate new beginning. Um, maybe surrounding work or something like that. Something you've been manifesting. Magician card definitely coming in for your highest good. I know that's right. See, you are loyalty, just like the card said. You can attract whatever it is that you want. Yeah, or a pinnacles, which are attracting the stability. You guys could also be holding on to money at this time as well, Virgo. You could be penny, penny pitching to get through. Something that you have or you want is coming in. Not have yet, but you're going to have it. It's coming in. Yeah, the moon. You probably don't see it. It's hidden. Okay. What is it? What is it for my Virgos? Oh, okay, okay. Hold on. Okay, Eight of Cups and Queen of Swords. Okay, so Eight of Cups. For some of you guys, you don't see that there could be a Queen of Swords in your energy who could be walking away from, or you walking away from them. 
Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Why is this energy here for my Virgos? It's too many. Um, it's too many. Um, boundaries here, or boundaries need to be set with this. Uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Yeah, a lot of hidden secrets and things like that, which is another reason why you're um walking away. And the Queen of Swords, the Queen of Swords could be walking away from you. Take it out. It resonates. Okay, Queen of Pentacles. This is definitely your energy towards Virgo Capricorn energy. Let's see here. Four of Cups. Something that's being offered to you, you just, you're not, well, you're not with it. You're not interested, Virgo. You're just not interested in it. Why is that? Yeah, Knight of Swords. Oh, but they're going to come running after you after you walked away. Are you them? Take it out. Resonance. Flip the rose. Yeah, two of swords. Yeah, because somebody was having a hard time manifesting and making a decision on what to do about a Queen of Swords energy, right? Drop it. Drop it, drop it, drop it. It's here. Seven of Wands. You feel like it's too many um, burdens or um, defensiveness. Like you're always defensive in this connection for some reason. Very, just a lot of defensive energy here. With the Seven of Wands and then you have the Nine of Wands. The Nine of Wands. This Queen of Swords could feel overwhelmed by you or you them. But the Queen of Swords is in the upright. You could also be manifesting a queen of swords in, but you feel like she, it could be a she, divine feminine, is guarded towards you, Virgo. Yeah, when it comes to the six of pentacles, having equal give and take in a relationship or a connection. Why is the six of pentacles here for Virgo? So this could be somebody you have a deep emotions for with the moon card as well that has not been spoken of. Because this, you, you know, you could be walking, you want to cash a new beginning and you want to walk away from what no longer serves you and, and go rushing in. But you're undecided. You need to make a decision. What's what's the what's the obstacle here? Strength. You know, yeah, having the strength, Leo energy to have equal give and take in this connection. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Leo energy. You or your person could have Leo in your chart. High priestess. Yeah. It's yeah, because the, the obstacle is too, is that you could be dealing with the high priestess energy here. Someone who's very strong, who's very balanced with the six of pentacles here. And that's the obstacle and a challenge for you. But why? Why is them being strong and a high priestess is because they, their intuition is too high? You can't pull the wool over their eyes. Oh, God. Tower. Yeah. Tower to the Page of Cups. Aw. It's just like, oh, okay. So you want to offer some love and you want to, but it's it's causing a tower moment for you. Page of Cups energy. So somebody wants to offer some type of love to a Queen of Swords. Virgo. Is that you? It started with the Queen of Pentacles. I don't know. Maybe either you or this Queen of Swords could be a boss or CEO with the Queen of Pentacles. They're too uh, emperor energy. And there could be an emperor involved here. Aries energy. And this is also an obstacle as well. Who's with, with the emperor? Drop it. Oh, five of Pentacles, seven of Swords. So you feel like it's a missed opportunity. But why is the Seven of Swords here to the Emperor? Somebody caused some type of deception. What's the, the... The the Five of Pentacles could be due to deception. Somebody could have been wearing a false mask or lied in a connection. Virgo, what's going on here? Yeah. Two of Cups, Eight of Swords. Yeah. So... Oh. 
you feel left out in the cold or this person does. Take a hot resonates is the emperor here. There's another energy here that this person could be in a two of cups relationship with and that's causing heavy mental conflict. You don't know what to do about it and you don't know how to go about it. Oh my goodness. Virgo. Okay, let, let me see if my teenager can help you out here. What's going on? Oh my. What's going on? I see four of wands to the four of cups. Yeah, you feel like they don't, they wouldn't want to be with you. Mm, I left it in there. Four of cups. You feel like they won't. Yeah, oh my God, spirit is saying take it. Yeah, it's the truth. So some type of truth and clarity needs to come out when it comes to a page of cups energy. Yeah, that you want. The truth is, and the clarity is, uh, the gag is, somebody in this connection wants to offer some type of commitment. Okay, yeah, there it is. Page of Pentacles to the Four of Cups. But you feel like you're, what you have to offer is too small, too small to manifest in, which is meta, uh, clarifying the, um, this is clarifying the magician, right? You want to manifest it in, but you feel like what you have to offer is too small and it won't be accepted. Okay, what's the four of pinnacles for Virgo? Either you feel this way or they feel this way about you. Four or five of cups, yeah. So this is causing a lot of, um, so you feel like you're at a loss here. Mm-hmm. You want to hold on to this connection. Um, energetically, you are. But you also feel like it's a loss when it comes to love. With the moon, placing your energy here. Lots of emotions. Yeah, that this cycle is complete. World card. Yeah. Yeah, world card. And now it's just like, you, have to, you feel like you have to walk away and just start new, fresh with the Ace of Wands. Mm-hmm. But there's conflict, yeah. There's conflict because the conflict is you really want to go towards the Queen of Swords and have this passion in the beginning. It's like you almost, I feel the energy of you can't let it go. But you don't, you don't know what to do. Yeah, you feel, yeah, you feel, you feel defeated. Nine of Wands, this is the energy of defeat. You know, there's so much conflict here. Nine of Wands, you feel defeated, you know, or blocked. Like there's nothing you could do. It's like you want to communicate or whatever, but you feel like no matter what you communicate, you'll be left out in the cold. Like you just feel like it's a hard misfortune. Like you, it's like, it's like you can't even revive it because of an action maybe that you didn't take. Yeah, mm-hmm. Empty, yeah, you feel like if you move forward, there will be an empty reward. And, it, oh God, for some of you, for some of you, I'm not getting all this. It's like, you feel like it's a hard misfortune because it's like, somebody in this connection, there's like problematic. You see where it says that eight of pentacles is like, it's like you could be working with this person, but it's problematic as well because somebody, the, the your perfectionism or their perfectionism, it's like it works against the connection in some way. So you always feel like you have an empty reward. It's, you know what I'm saying? It's something within the energy here. But at the same time, this person, you feel like you need this energy. You need this energy, but there's a, there's a blockage because you have a lot of love. Knight of Pentacles, yeah. And you know that it's like you want it, but you know you it it's like you have to be very patient in order to succeed. Yeah, because your patience is what's gonna bring you the abundance. It's like I feel like the energy of you want it quick and you want it now, but it doesn't really work that way. If you're trying to work with someone, I don't know, for some of you guys this could be a work situation or this could be somebody that you actually work with. It's the energy that I'm getting with the Eight of Pentacles here, because that's like hard at work or something like that. Eight of pen, eight, yeah, so so much of a heavy burden to work with this person. It's like you could have really good ideas and share a lot of things or whatever, but there's a lot of conflict and um, boundaries and distress of some sort. Yeah, nine, yeah, nine of Pentacles, but at the same time. 
this is somebody you really want to be with and you see that you could be prosperous with will of fortune why is it a heavy burden three of swords because maybe you guys can't be together in a loving energy so knight of swords you want to still rush in though So, is this somebody that you guys work with at your job? This is the chariot. Can't, yeah, you're going to move forward. Two of Pentacles. You're going to set your fight. You want to be with this person. Oh, my God. Are they want to be with you? Take it out. It resonates. Yeah. It's just like, you know, you need to set your priorities and get your shit together. You got the Knight of Swords here. This is really an unstoppable force. Like, this could be somebody that you work really well together with. And, and... When it's go, it's go. Somebody that you can really see long term with or whatever. But there's blockages here because something in this connection has you feeling defeated. Maybe that maybe they're unattainable. Queen of Swords energy. Yeah, Queen of Wands. Yeah, they're very beautiful, very confident, very ambitious. And you sit and you watch them. Either you or them. Somebody in this connection watches the Queen of Wands. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius energy. Yeah. And they want to take a leap of faith forward. That's just that on that. Yeah. And you want to fight for it. You do. You want to fight. Yeah. And take off the mask. Seven of Swords. Death. Or something could have called it, caused the ending. Or you want to have a rebirth and come in as the King of Cups. There's a lot going on here, the lovers. You have feelings for this person. Oh, my God. Okay. And it's causing conflict within with working with them or it's almost for like the energy of you i don't know why i feel the energy of self-sabotage here i just do seven of cups yeah creating illusions when it comes to ten of pentacles judgment justice libra energy the devil there's some type of obsession, obsessive controlling energy here when it comes to this connection. Somebody that you see long-term stability with. But it's just like somebody, but you also are trying to weigh out your options when it comes to a love situation. The lovers, Gemini energy here. King of Pentacles, Two of Wands. It's just like you want to move forward because... Working with this person will take you into the King of Pentacles. You know it. You're trying to find a strategy, though. That's what I feel. Eight of Cups. Because you feel like if you don't come up with a strategy to get things moving. First of all, you're in a tower moment right now. If you don't come up with a strategy to get things moving, this person is definitely going to walk away. And that's what you fear. You don't want that. King of Wands, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Yeah. You, you know you have to make a bold and brave move. You could be in pot you can be embodying the King of Wands energy as well. Or they're gonna go towards a King of Cup, a King of Wands. Yeah, like if you don't make a move, your person is gonna make the decision to go towards a King of Wands. And you know you need to make a decision quick. Yep, three of cups. Third party, six of swords, yeah. Four of swords to heal something, to have a passionate new beginning, nine of wands. This is stressing you out. Okay. So the energy, the overall energy I'm getting here. I know I'm pulling these cards fast and I'm reading. Because I'm reading based off energy as well. By the cards and how they're falling. Um, there's someone in your energy, Virgo, that you, that you could be working with. You want to work with or whatever the case may be. But you find it very... You want to invest in this connection with the eight, the Ace of Pentacles for sure. King of Pentacles, because the King of Pentacles is someone who invests in connections, especially when they see security um, and long-term longevity with someone. I feel like you, you whoever this is you're working with or want to work with, you have strong feelings for them. You've been hiding them or they've been hiding this um, from you um, with the Moon card. That's emotions, right? Secret emotions, hiding, not being honest about your true feelings and a connection. I, I hate it when I do this. <laughs> I start mixing the cards together, trying to pull them all up. But as I talk, 
I don't need the cards anymore because I can feel the energy. The energy here is, is that you know you need to speak up. Part of this, um, this the issue here is speaking up, but you sabotage, um, you sabotage the energy with, um, I don't want to say rhetoric, but I feel like this is the energy that you, this is, this is the connection you could have had romantically or you could have if you speak up and play your cards right. But it's something in you, there's fear. There's a lot of fear that you'll be rejected and, but I don't even think you're fully ready to be honest. Whoever you are, I don't feel like there's a, a, a strong sense of readiness here. The reason why I say that is because the King of Cups and the Ace of Cups didn't fall out. Um, there's not a strong sense of readiness, but I feel like you you also fear losing this person if they go towards a King of Wands of energy because King of Wands came out, Knight of Wands came out. So you could be dealing with the fire sign or some type of uh, just another energy or somebody embodying, embodying the King of Wands energy um, coming in. You feel like you're going to lose this Queen of Swords. I was... Um, Queen of Pentacles is just the energy that you're in because it's Virgo. This is a Virgo reading. So um, you could be, you know, in the Queen of Pentacles energy yourself. Um, but you feel like if you don't make a move, you're going to, it's going to be a huge missed opportunity and that this person won't even work with you anymore. And you're trying to figure out and strategize how to prevent that. And you don't really know how to go about doing that, Virgo. It's become a nuisance for you. What's the potential outcome for Virgo? What's the potential outcome for Virgo? For Virgo's highest good? What's the potential outcome? I feel like you guys have a yeah, Queen of Wands. Somebody's very beautiful, gorgeous man. Five of Pentacles, yeah. You feel like you're at a loss when it comes to this Queen of Wands. You feel like you're gonna be left out in the cold. Like no matter what you do. Oh my goodness. No matter what, that's that's the energy that I'm feeling. Yeah. Like this is faded. Yeah, and this has you in the Knight of Swords. You just really don't know what to do. Oh, babies. Okay. The Wheel of Fortune here with the Knight of Swords, you're really stressed. Something is faded, but this was, you know, that saying that, you know, if it's meant to be, it'll be. I know that is not what you want to hear right now. Two of Wands, because you've been waiting, you could have, you've been waiting for something to come in so that you can connect with this person with the Six of Cups to reunite, heal something. Something, it's like something needs to be healed so that you guys could move forward together. Or so you can move towards this person. Three of Wands. You do want to heal something, but you keep being met with the tower. Something within you that needs to change or uh, transcend or whatever. Are you afraid of this change or something? The tower. Something is meant to, to be brought down. Yeah, Ten of Cups. To change in order for you to have the Ten of Cups. What is this spirit? The world. Some, yeah. In order for you to have this Ten of Cups, something you have to leave something behind. You have to close out a cycle. So there's something within your energy that needs that is automatically being closed. And this is leaving you in regret. Five of Cups. Damn. It's like... Ugh. Is giving next lifetime energy. I'm sorry. I don't mean to sound mean. This is for some of you guys, not all of you guys, because so that resonates. Why is the ten of cups? Why is the tower here? Honestly. Why is the tower here? Nine of Pentacles to the Four of Wands. Two of Swords to the Empress. Oof.
for some of you guys, this is um somebody you you have complete material abundance or this empress does she's already within herself or she could be this could be a twin flame connection or they could be already committed in a situation but the two of swords is here why two of swords type of that's the conflict so you guys could have took a really long time to make a decision and now the empress is already in another a uh, nine of pentacles for wants committed relationship. So and victoriously too, six of wands, eight of cups, and it's forcing you to walk away. Yeah, nine of cups, the moon, seven of swords, yep. Somebody due to someone's deceit or lack of communication or wearing a false mask and having this hidden emotions. As the Knight of Cups, this could be y'all's energy. The Empress could have walked away to another love connection. Star, Aquarian Energy, Emperor. Ten of Pentacles. It could be, yeah, the Chariot. They could have went into another connection with an Emperor. Seven of Wands. Page of Wands. Came back to the Queen of Pentacles the ace of pentacles there's another love offer here hmm, this is kind of deep yeah somebody did something very deceitful too in this connection hidden deceit and it caused it causes empress libra towards energy to to move on to calmer waters with another in another connection if somebody either you could have waited too late or the sap whatever happened in the past could have sabotaged this connection in some way. You could have tried to revive it, but yeah, this nine of wands, something blocked it. Yep, don't play with me. Heartbreak. There it is. Three swords. Something hard blocked. Their their heart their heart chakra is blocked towards you. Are you them? Take it out. Resonates with the rose. Four of pentacles. And Wow. Yeah, that's the truth. Four of Pentacles, Ace of Ace of Swords. Yeah, this is the truth. Yeah, because somebody juggled. Now they want to. You want to rush in, or they want to rush in. Yeah. Now using your high high into your 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 gut intuition, high priestess energy, or they, if somebody used their intuition, somebody could have also acted out impulsively. And cause a burden in this connection. Yeah, when it comes to the lovers, uh, Gemini energy. Yeah. Hangman stuck. And now somebody's stuck. King of Swords energy, Libra Gemini Aquarius. Ugh. You're using logic now and you're trying to mess, manifest it in, but it's already ended. Yeah, for some of you guys, it's just. I'm sorry, Virgos. I, I don't like giving bad messages. Yeah. But this is the energy now. I say, you know, things change. You know, energies change, shift, or whatever. You could also be the competition, because the Seven of Wands is here as well. There could be competition. There could be other suitors here. You know, that's why the Five of Wands is here. You know, five. you see it. Five of Wands is here. There's conflict, too, because... Now you have to fight against other suitors or this empress has moved on to other options or to, a, to an emperor, to another love connection. And this is causing you um, some type of distress. Yeah, so I'm sorry, babies. Well, if this is your reading, um, sound up in the comment field below. Okay, let me know if this is resonating with you. This could be going on for you, uh, around you. Or uh, with someone you know, take it out, resonate. Cross watcher, this could be your story. So I'll ask in the comment below. I love you guys so much. If you'd like to book a personal reading, book a class, or just donate to the channel, all the information is in the description box below. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye, Virgos.